How do diseases spread? You must have fallen sick at some point in your life. Have you ever wondered why we fall ill? What causes the diseases we suffer from? Let's find out. Agents of diseases Air Sneezing or coughing of a sick person releases the germs of his diseases into the air. Example Cold Influenza Chickenpox Tuberculosis and Pneumonia Food and Water Food and water infected with germs of diseases can cause disease of the food canal. For example, diarrhea, typhoid, jaundice and cholera. Contact Contact with an infected person or with the infected things used by him or her spreads the disease. For example, measles, viral fever, and ringworm. Insects and animals Insects and animals carry germs of a disease from a sick person to a healthy one. For example, malaria, dengue, and rabies. Air let us have a look at the role air has in spreading many diseases, some of which can be fatal. A sick person who is suffering from influenza, tuberculosis or some other airborne disease coughs or sneezes. What happens then? Many of the germs of the disease which he is suffering from are let out into the environment. The germs then spread all around and a healthy person who happens to inhale these germs has a high chance of contracting that disease. Let us have a quick look at the diseases which are airborne. Common cold is caused by a virus. Whooping cough is caused by a bacteria. Children often suffer from this disease. Pneumonia. It is a grave infection of the lungs. It makes breathing difficult for the victim. Influenza It is a highly contagious disease. It is caused by a virus. Measles It normally affects children. Adults, when affected, report many complications. Diphtheria It is caused by the bacteria that an infected person may release in the form of droplets of moisture from his throat, nose or mouth. When a person suffering from diphtheria sneezes or coughs, he releases thousands of bacteria into the air. However, all airborne diseases are not contagious or infectious. Let us study a few examples of non-communicable airborne diseases. Often, it so happens that certain individuals may be oversensitive to some agents and a presence of those agents may cause a reaction in their body 
which we commonly call an allergy. Allergies Substances such as dust, pollen, pollution or smoke which are primarily airborne may give rise to an allergic reaction in some people. Hence they are called allergens. The body can react to an allergen in the form of a rash, swelling, boil or a bout of sneezing. Asthma It is also an allergic reaction of the body to allergens.